General Motors is scaling back its operations in North America. We have some breaking news now. GM will close five North America plants in 2019 and cut salaried staff. Once again, GM is cutting salaried staff by 15% and will cease the operations of two additional plants outside North America by the end of next year as well. So five North America plants to close, two additional plants outside North America and a 15% reduction in salaried contract staff. Let's bring in Craig Trudell, U.S. Auto Editor. And we are also joined by Balance of Power anchor David Weston, who of course has interviewed GM's CEO Mary Mara several times. Craig, let me start with you. Five North America plants. Put this into context for us. How major is this? Well, this shows just the, the depth of the slump uh, for sedans in the North American market, particularly here in the U.S. So you're seeing cars like the Chevrolet Cruze, the Buick LaCrosse, the Cadillac uh, CT6 and, and uh, X, uh, XTS. Um, those are going to be going away. So you've seen a significant shift where we've seen close to 70 percent of, of uh, sales in the U.S. market are now SUVs and pickups. That's been a huge uh, dramatic shift. Uh, in, in consumer buying behavior and you haven't been able to sort of keep up from that if you're GM, if you're Ford, if you're the rest of the industry, even the companies that are really strong in passenger cars like Honda are having real trouble selling cars like the Accord, uh, the Toyota Camry and uh, the industry is, is having to make cuts as a result. David Weston, the move also includes 25% fewer executives in order to streamline decision making. How much is this a longer term plan that Mary Barra has been imagining and how much of it is a short term reaction to what we're seeing? Well, exactly right. It is a reaction to the softness in the market in terms of demand. At the same time, I have talked to Mary Barra. I've talked to Chuck Stevens, the former CFO. I've talked to Dan Ammon. And every time I've talked to them, I said, the market does not believe you can adjust to a downturn. The automobile industry has never been good at that. They don't believe it, and they said, we can. I think what this is showing is we can. We can ramp it back. They're going to generate another $6 billion a year, they say, in cash flow, and they're going to plow that back in part into electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles. So they're really demonstrating to the street what they said they would do, which is we can turn this ship around.